Hello again. Welcome back. This is Stephanie with Trillium Tarot, as always. And for this video, I am going to be flipping through the Animal Dreaming Oracle deck. Now, you see that I have these are already divided into four different colors. And I have the, the book in front of me. I was going to launch into what each color uh, represents as far as element and direction. And I thoroughly confused myself. I found out that uh, this deck was created originally in Australia. And since I'm in North America, the directions are a little bit different. The um, I, I would say that the corresponding element still applies. So I'll go ahead and just explain what these colors mean according to uh, the intent of the artist. And you can, you know, just use the cards in a way that feels right for you. By the way, as I'm diving into reading this brief explanation, please do give the video a thumbs up and feel free to drop your comments uh, at the bottom of the video about, you know, how do you kind of translate Southern Hemisphere cards and art to a Northern Hemisphere reader? Uh, how would you personally do that? I'm, I'm kind of curious. So the blue cards are uh, representing the element of air. The red cards uh, represent the element of fire. This kind of greenish card represents the element of water. And the final set of cards represent the element of earth. So the, the artwork and the, the animals depicted on this deck are really cool. It is, it is definitely a, a Southern Hemisphere deck though. So here we go. We start off with Eagle. Then we have the Lear Bird, Mouse. I'm going to have to spend some time with this deck and learn more about what the symbols mean in the upper right hand corner of each card. And let me look. Yeah, it looks like the symbols on the lower left are uh, different as well. Obviously, the triangle would be the elemental symbol, the alchemical signal, uh, but I'm not sure what the others would be. Maybe the direction. Anyway, then we go to owl, oyster catcher, dragonfly, a bilby. I like the fact that these cards have a little descriptive word underneath the name of the the animal that's depicted on the card. Cockatoo and hawk for messages. Now we're changing to a different element. So you'll see that the, the triangle symbol on the bottom right has changed. And this has got to be the directions. If I look back at the, the card description in this deck, this these reddish cards represent, I said they represent the element of fire. And in the description of the book, it says it, it harnesses the energies of the north. So you'll see on this particular symbol, the circle with the, the line going up, that's got to re represent the, the direction, the corresponding direction as uh, visualized by the artist. Anyway, I feel like I went totally down a tangent there. I apologize, but it's an interesting detail. Kookaburra, <laughs> if I even pronounced that correctly. A frog mouth. Some of these animals, I, I always find it fascinating. Sorry for the traffic noise in the background. Um, some of these animals, I've heard the names of them, but I've not seen images or um, pictures and so on. So it, this is a really interesting deck. A platypus. Raven. We did switch to another um, element and another direction. As you can see, the color, the border color changed. Crow. Frog. Oh, that's gorgeous. Black Swan, Dolphin, Whale as Record Keeper. I received this deck in a subscription box 
um, and I have not spent a lot of time using it, but now that I'm sitting here looking at these images, I'm loving this deck. It is an older deck. I did look it up on Amazon and it looks like it was initially published in 2007 or thereabouts. So, wow, I'd hate to run into that red kangaroo in a dark alley, wouldn't you? <laughs> so this deck has been around for a while. Um, I've not come across it before, so I'm really digging this deck. Wrapping up with Wombat, and then finally, it's got to be pronounced Echidna. I hope you enjoyed uh, the walkthrough of this deck and the corresponding ramblings as I was trying to verbally describe it. <laughs> Please do give the video a thumbs up to help out the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you for the next one.